Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, if you know my channel, you know it's always my purpose to help you guys with uh, tips and so forth to make your workflow more efficient, to make you more familiar with uh, tools and so forth in Maya, and to have an overall uh, you know, nicer experience working with Maya, which is uh, pretty cool to begin with. Anyway, so for today's video, I'm going to show you guys a method that will help you to speed up when you need to select the vertices that are in odd places and when there are quite a lot of them, right? Now, this does um, you know, need a little bit of your imagination because, of course, these are super simple objects. But let's say you got something super complicated, a character or whatnot, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go up to this pipe right here. We're going to jump to the top view. And I am going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to click on this vertex right here. And then I'm going to shift click on that one right there. Now, what I want is for Maya automatically to select everything that is similar to the selection that I already have. That means I got two vertices with a specific distance to each other, right? Now, looking at this object, you can see that I only selected these two on top, but I want every single vertex that's similar to this one, meaning spacing-wise, position-wise, and so forth, to be selected. So let's see what happens. We're going to go up to Select, and we're going to click on Similar. If you look at the option box, you can see that you can change the tolerance, but we're going to leave that alone. We're going to go up to Select, and we're going to click on Similar. It's going to take every vertex on that edge row there, but also on the bottom. Pretty neat, right? So if you have a super large complex model where you know that you have a lot of these vertices and you know they all have the same spacing and so forth, it can speed things up quite a bit. Okay, how would that work on a sphere? Let's say we're not going to go with a vertex, but we're going to go with an edge. Go to edge. Let's click on, let's say, this guy right here. I want all similar edges to be selected. Now what you will see is that it won't select any of these horizontal ones. It will select all the edges that are similar to this one. So we're going to go up to select, we're going to click on similar, and there you have it. Speeds things up quite a bit, right? I mean, I've seen so many videos where people are, you know, time lapsing because they have to select and select and select and select and go around, taking forever. This will speed it up quite a bit. All right, one more. Let's say a vertices on this guy. We're gonna go in here and I'll click on one and two, let's say, yeah. Now, as we go lower, the spacing changes. As we go higher, the spacing changes, right? So with these two selected, if I go in here to select and similar, it should only select that, and it does. So there you go, guys, an extra new tip in uh, Maya to speed up your workflow. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. And if you got any questions or requests, please let me know, right? Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.